Hi there, Jamie Keith here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great night tonight. Tonight, I wanna to show you how to set up your new Google Sites with a custom domain. I'm gonna be using this example behind me here, just a one page, and I'm gonna turn this into a custom domain under my teachers.tech one. So uh, there's three different things to do to set this up, and you can actually change the order uh, which way you wanna do this. I'm just gonna show you the order that I usually do this in. So the first thing I usually do is set up a C name. Uh, so this means I have to go to where I've registered my domain uh, and go to the DNS record. So I register my domain here and I already have the records set up here. Uh, so what you gotta do is think about what you wanna call your record. So you could have this as www. Uh, you could place that here. In my case right here, I'm gonna put something called Google Sites. So the domain that that page I just showed you will be at googlesites.teachers.com tech on it and then this you have to make sure you put this when you create your c name record uh, you, we have to put this exactly like this so this comes from this uh, google help page here and i'll just put the link down below because then you'll just be able to copy this and paste it into your c name once you have that in there, just go ahead and hit the save and create the uh, C name for it. Uh, this isn't something instant. You might have to wait 24 hours before things take effect on this. Uh, but uh, so I'm just going to go over and do the next step what I would usually do. So I'm going to go over to custom domain here and I'm going to publish this site. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And I want to show you the uh, name up. Oh, I'm going to go to publish settings here. Uh, publish settings. Notice that uh, I have this as example. So it's really important that you remember the name that you what you call your site. So this is just the Google site right now from the URL uh, that I have from it, not the custom one yet. And I have it at anybody on the web can see this. Uh, so I'm going to go now over to my admin console. And if you haven't used your admin console, I'm just going to go back to the home page here to show you how I get to the sites. If you haven't used your admin uh, console before, just go up to your Google Apps and you can see this is the admin icon that you're looking for. It might be under the more also too. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Apps and then once that loads up, I'm gonna click on G Suite and I wanna go to my Google Sites here, which is right down here. When I get to Google Sites, I need to be looking for web address, web address mapping, which is right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. So I'm gonna hit add a new web address. And now this is where I said, uh, you have to remember what you've called your other ones. Well, first of all, so notice I have the version in the new Google Sites. This is also, you could uh, map in the classic Google Sites this way too. Uh, so I have it uh, teachers.tech and I called mine example. So this is what I named it as when I published my Google Sites. Now this is the C name record that I created the, at the beginning. So I called mine Google Sites. And so this is gonna be my website address right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mapping. And what this message is telling me is saying, hey, you gotta set up your C name. That's what I showed you at the beginning. Everybody's might look a little bit different uh, depending on what who you're registered with. I've already completed these steps. So that's what I'm clicking right here and you can see it's situated at the bottom right now. If I go over to my, G, uh, my Google Sites here, and I'm just gonna go to my published settings, I'm gonna show you what changed. Notice now, right here, I can, um, the site is also viewable at googlesites.teachers.tech. So that's gonna be the custom URL that I've created on this one. Now, like I said, it might not show up right again, right away, right away. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to go to this and you can see it's not coming up. So I'm just gonna wait a few moments and then refresh it and come back to you. So that took about five minutes for it to come up here. Sometimes, as I said, it will be, it, you might have to take a couple hours. I already had my C name set up prior to this, so it uh, probably happened much quicker. You can see if I look up in the URL right now, I have googlesites.teachers.tech. Now, if I was making a change to this, so if I was going back to my website, remember um, what I'll do is I'm gonna just quickly add an image here. Let's go image, and I'm just gonna put this one in right here and select any changes you make make sure you hit publish again because if you don't it's not going to update now if i go back to my custom url up here and refresh it 
and you can see the image is in it. So any changes you make in here, hit publish, and then you're gonna have your, it's gonna show up on your custom URL. So that's how you go about creating your custom URL for the new Google Sites. If you uh, like this, please share this with a few other people. Remember, I do weekly tech tips here. Uh, so if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Hope you helped, uh, this helped you out tonight. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.